Good evening. You are watching CBS 4 News at 6, also streaming at CBSN Denver. We start tonight with our first coronavirus death in Colorado. The victim is an 80 year old woman who lived in El Paso County. She did have underlying health conditions. There are 77 positive cases in Colorado. That number includes eight people that are in the hospital, three in critical condition. We we also learned Colorado lawmakers will go on break for two weeks. The governor today announcing measures to increase the number of doctors, nurses, and other medical staff. That includes speeding up licensing of health care workers who have licenses in other states. Yeah, the governor just spoke on the death from Colorado Springs. Now, that death was one of the three that were in critical condition. CBS 4's Rick Salinger with more from the governor. And Rick, he says we're going to have some more of these stories. Yes, Jim, the governor said they were prepared for this day, but that didn't make it any easier to pass along the news of this loss. The first fatality was certainly someone who fell in the most vulnerable category. As you indicated, a woman in her 80s. She was living in El Paso County, which of course is the Colorado Springs area, and she had underlying health conditions, which were not detailed. The governor spoke with regret. We're no stranger to adversity in Colorado. We've had fires and we've had floods. We've been tested before, we'll be tested again. But Coloradans are tough. We're resilient. We're going to get through this together and we're going to come out on the other side for our health, for our economy, and for our way of life. The governor said this death points out the need to protect those who are the most vulnerable. No name of the victim has been released as of this time. Live at the Capitol, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.